In this part of the lesson, we're going to quickly introduce the drawing sheets available within JCD Lite. So here we are in our spiral bypass from earlier on in the lesson. Now during the design, if we right click, we can come into our 2D sheet. Again, the 2D sheet allows us to present our designs in a nice fashion so they can be seen by customers or manufacturers. Okay, so we don't have any templates. We have to pick the default template and confirm. Okay, so this is the drawing sheet and you can see what we're doing here. We're bringing in images of our pieces, place them on this drawing sheet and then we can print them or send them off, do what we want with them. So the setup of this level, the drawing level, is kind of like our other levels the part level, the sketch level, we have different options. I'm just going to cover a few features here okay, and you can explore the rest for yourselves. Now I'm going to cancel out of this manager. We are in the standard operation there. Okay so here we have a sheet manager. Okay, it's sort of like a history. Now in the sheet format if we right click Come down to sheet format attributes, we can add a few customizations to our 2D sheet. For example, borders, some bounds, trimming marks, partitions, centering marks. Okay, just to give a nicer appearance to our 2D sheet. If we confirm that, we'll have an update on our 2D sheet. Okay, to bring in the images of our piece, you can use this standard method to bring in one at a time. Okay, I'll show you this in a second. First of all, I'm going to show you our layout view command. Okay, so if we left click in here, we want to navigate first of all to our file and to the part, in this case the assembly, that we want to bring in to our 2D sheet. So we left click on this and we should see some green highlighted images. Okay, we can modify our location, set it on auto or we can define it the center or the corner. Okay, in the settings we can change, we have two angles, okay, and then we can modify the angle, the views that we want to see these specific parts of our design from. Okay, so here we have a top view, a front view, a left and a right view. I'm going to come down further, we can scale these now, increase the size. Okay, we can show the labels, this will show the view, top, left, front, right. Generally, we would want to use this hidden line mode, hidden line view, we can have the shaded mode or the wireframe, the wireframe is going to get a bit busy and hard to see nicely so the hidden line and I often like to sh deactivate the show the hidden lines okay? because again this can make our image a bit cluttered. Okay, we have multiple icons, toggles here, again okay, they're pretty self-explanatory. Okay, and then we have some more options to modify, we can change our text, ok we're making our text smaller there, we can change the colour of our lines, ok when we confirm this operation it's going to bring in or turn these images into whatever colours we specify here, so the visible or hidden lines, the visible lines they're going to come in black. Ok so if I confirm this here Okay, we get our views. Okay, if we want to make changes to the options we had before, we can just select the view we want to make changes to, 
right click here we have all these different options here we can change it to a shaded mode wireframe here you can see what I mean by wireframe getting a bit messy scale we have our other display options here again you can see what I meant by the hidden lines making this look a bit messy here we also have the options to scale we can change the part, replace it with something else Okay, in our ribbon tabs we also have a dimension ribbon where we can come in and add dimensions to our drawing sheet and there's many other options our drawing ribbon tab we can draw things, add text many of these are similar to those in the sketching environment here we can also move our pieces around within here in the tools ribbon tab various tools require require distances other information about our designs okay so I'm giving you a very quick breakdown of the 2D sheet here okay and at any point during the 2D sheet we can come and exit or right click exit and we'll be exiting back into our part Okay, but we won't be losing the 2D sheet, we can then right click come into the 2D sheet again and here we are in our same 2D sheet we can add to or remove from Okay, our standard layout, this is just adding one view at a time add isometric view let's come in, we'll give this a shaded view location okay I forgot to take out my hidden lines there, I'm going to undo standard spiral bypass isometric take away the hidden line and the shaded mode You can erase parts if you want this larger. Drag our part to place it where we want. Okay, so this is essentially all I'm going to show you for the 2D sheet. Like I said, come in and play around. This is great to use in combination with our bill of materials. Okay, so we can have a nice printout of our design. And we can then also have our bill of materials. Okay, and our bill of materials will give a readout of our stones, our stone weights, our dimensions, our metals, etc.